everyone and welcome to the New York Hall of Science's STEM Korea Expo. I'm here with Lucky Tran who is a science communicator at Columbia University here in New York City. Lucky, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now you just spoke on a panel. How was it? Are you having a good time here at STEM Night? Yeah, I love STEM Night. I love meeting lots of young people and people interested in STEM careers. Now you yourself have had a very interesting STEM career journey, but what inspired you to first get into STEM? I think the idea that STEM science can really solve the big problems in the world. When I was growing up in Australia, I saw many environmental problems, public health problems, and I thought, what can I do to solve these problems? And being a scientist and being in a STEM career was the answer to that. Now you are behind a book that's recently been published called Science Not Silence. What inspired you to publish that book? So Science Not Silence is based on the March for Science, which was the largest day of advocacy for science in history. And so our inspiration was to show why are we standing up for science? Why are we advocating for science? And there were so many amazing stories and people we met in making that book. And when people read that book or when people march for science, what's the message that you want them to hear? I think the message is that science affects real people, it affects real communities. When it's attacked, then it hurts us all, and it's important that all of us really stand up for science. Now, if young people are interested in advocating for science or getting involved in the March for Science, how can they be involved? I think don't wait for permission. Go and organise your community, go organise your groups, and say hi to the groups who are doing amazing work, like NISI and like the March for Science. Is there a moment during the March for Science that really impacted you personally? Yeah, I, I think for me it was basically as someone for years and years who wanted to see this thing happen, the moment I sort of went on stage and saw all these signs saying science is the best, science saves lives, and hearing the crowd cheer hundreds of thousands in one place of people caring about science, that was so amazing. Did you meet anyone famous? Uh, I met a few famous people, a guy named Bill, um, you know, Bill the Snide, the science guy. And I think, yeah, that was one of the most amazing moments too because I've never seen such a frenzy over one person showing up to a march ever. It was amazing. Now, you've talked about science, not silence, and the importance of science, but why is it important for people to get involved in advocating for science? Isn't science always going to be there? I think we can't rest on our laurels. I think it's really important for policymakers to take on good science advice. And when science is ignored, it, it, it really hurts all of us. So it's up to each and every one of us to make sure we stand up for science. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Lucky. And if people want to get a copy of Science Not Silence, where can they buy one? They can find it on our website, marchforscience.com. So everyone, go to the marchforscience.com website and check it out. And we'll see you here at the next New York Hall of Science STEM Careers Expo.